it's a very common question, and it happens rarely. We get a subtropical storm out there. I mean, usually during hurricane season, we see the tropical storms and then the hurricanes. But let's talk a little bit about it. Subtropical, what does it mean? A subtropical storm develops during the collision of cold air and warm air. It's the same kind of storm that you might see on land moving across the country from west to east. It's got cooler air coming in from the north. It's got warm air coming up out of the south, and that creates its power, and it can have very strong winds, tropical storm force winds, but it doesn't have the correct structure to be called a tropical storm. Instead, it is called subtropical. One thing that you'll notice when you look at it on a satellite picture is that a subtropical storm has a lot of empty space on both sides of it here. A lot of sparse cloud cover here, some concentration here and there in the center, but when you look at it compared to a tropical storm, which has condensed moisture coming in from the center here, that's where things get much more clear. So when you have the collision of warm and cool air here creating a subtropical storm, it transitions into a tropical storm, which means it's getting the moisture from that warm ocean surface temperatures, and that's what's creating its fuel, that warm water vapor rising up in the middle. And once it becomes tropical, then it can really start to strengthen. You can't go from a subtropical storm to a hurricane. You can't get there. It has to become tropical first, which gives it the ability to strengthen into something more than just a tropical storm. We are looking at the potential for Nicole to transition from subtropical to tropical as we get into tomorrow. Chris? Glenn.